Recently, I had to go on a work trip to a maple syrup festival that I was speaking at in northern Wisconsin, so I headed out on the road. My first stop was at Hardee's because everybody's been telling me that I needed to try their chicken tenders, and I never have. So I got a three-piece with a curly fry and a Coke, and I couldn't wait to give it a try. First of all, I was pretty impressed with these curly fries. They were hot and fresh. Wasn't expecting that based on other things I've seen on the internet, but they were delicious. I got the ranch dip, even though everyone says it wasn't their favorite, but I have to tell you, it was pretty good. I'd give the ranch a seven out of 10. I had to stop and get gas, so I went to one of my favorite gas stations in Rhinelander, Wisconsin. They have the coolest shop inside this gas station. Let me show you all the stuff that they have. First of all, it's like a little log cabin in here and I totally love how everything is so organized and neat. Every time I come here, everything is faced properly and looks just makes me wanna buy it. They have the best selection of road trip snacks. Sorry, my camera is so wobbly. I just hold it in my hand. I need to get one of those things. But it wouldn't be a Wisconsin gas station without this extensive meat and cheese selection. It's always so tempting to buy. Everywhere in Wisconsin, especially in the bars, has those pickled eggs. And one day I'm going to be brave enough to try it because it kind of sounds delicious. Over here is the Newskies section, which if you're not familiar, is a super popular brand for sausage and bacon. So I was in desperate need of a cup of coffee and I went over here to check out their selection. They had lots of options for iced coffee, fountain drinks, lots of creamers. I smelled and saw this Southern Pecan coffee. So I'm like, I have to get this. So I filled up the biggest cup I could find since I had about a three hour drive ahead of me. I love when gas stations have this creamer station where the cream is ice cold. So I made my coffee. I was so excited to get in the car and drink this. But before I left the gas station, I noticed that they had these really nice looking frozen shrimp for $26.99. So I grabbed a bag for my mom because she loves shrimp. I was also really impressed with their liquor selection. Holy cow. I love driving through Wisconsin, whether it's a sunny day, a snowy day, clear day, whatever. I just love looking at the farmland and these huge farms and the cows and sometimes there's horses. It's just so pretty. This was getting towards the later afternoon, so it was getting kind of dark out, but I don't know. There's just something about it. One day, maybe I'll own a farm or maybe I did in a past life. I was going to be doing a cooking demonstration at the Maple Syrup Festival, so I found a local Aldi to get all of the ingredients for my recipes. I was looking for stuff for a breakfast sandwich, a salad, and then some stuff to make a cocktail. I did have to check out the Aldi Isle of Shame while I was there. It wasn't the best Isle of Shame I've ever seen in an Aldi, but I was able to spot some things that I had been looking for. I was especially excited to see this Tide fabric spray. I saw that on an Aldi account I follow and wanted it. Wheeled my stuff out in the cold, and then I got to the hotel. I wasn't sure what to expect with this hotel just because it wasn't like a brand name hotel. The parking lot just looked okay, but I was super surprised when I walked in how warm and welcoming the whole hotel was. There was a cozy fireplace in the lobby. There was a cool looking bar and restaurant. There was the maple syrup sign. And then my room was really impressive. It was their executive king suite. So I wasn't expecting much, but it had a really cool refrigerator, microwave, and a Keurig. The bathroom was super clean and cute. There was a nice selection of soaps to use, and they even had a really nice makeup remover. The bed was huge and beautiful. Gotta love a king-size bed. One day I'm gonna get one of those at home. But otherwise, it was super clean. Um, I was a little weirded out about being on the first floor, but that didn't end up being a problem. There was a little sofa area, a working desk, but all together like a pretty decent sized room. Now here was the craziest, most amazing part of my hotel. So in the summertime, obviously there's a big pool in the center, but for the winter time, they had two beautiful hot tubs and one of those awesome barrel saunas, which saunas are like pretty popular up north because I guess it's like a Swedish or a Finnish thing. 
lot of people have them on their properties, but this one was massive. I did bring my bathing suit thinking like maybe there would be an indoor pool and I never ended up getting to go in this hot tub or the sauna because I was just busy working. But if I ever come up here again, I definitely would stay at this hotel to experience this little slice of paradise. So after I checked that out, I went into the lobby bar, had a delicious dinner and went to bed and got ready for the next day.